what's going on, guys? In this video, we're breaking down the 5 best camera for car photography. I have made this list based on image stabilization, control system, body, and most importantly price. I have included options for every type of consumer. Check the links in the description if you want more information and the most up-to-date pricing on the products we mentioned. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Number 1. Fujifilm X-T4. Every moment automobile firms manufacture a new model, they gather the media and photographers with snaps and videos to market their creation. Every click of the shutter fills my soul with the pleasure of capturing the vehicle's personality. Along these lines, I was invited to a launching ceremony of 8 Nissan GTR to frame the aesthetic shots of this well-designed product. Primarily, it was to create a winning photo for my car photography website. It illustrates the traits and outlook of 8 Nissan GTR in an enhanced mode. For more information and the most up-to-date price, check the description links. Number 2. Nikon D3500. Photography has been my preferred domain of study for a long span. I initiated my career as a professional in automotive photography to dig profoundly into this department. As a new user, it offered me a good deal to comprehend the basics of car photography. Nikon's image creation system had allowed me to capture the panoramic view of automobiles to fine-tune their traits. It offers me a wide range of image creation with seven modes of picture control, standard, vivid, monochrome, neutral, flat, portrait, landscape, which I had selected according to my innovative preferences of automobile shooting. Number 3. Canon EOS 80D. Canon EOS 80D has the next-level cross-type autofocus system with 45 face detection points. Shots were taken with such autofocus that provided the sedan's crisp sharp focused snaps. It had enabled me to share several images with friends and family without any hindrance. This wireless technology is designed in its compact body. It permits easy sharing of captures with smartphones, HDTVs, and others. The dual CMOS autofocus system of Canon EOS 80D offered me a fast focusing speed with 7.0 frames per second continuous shooting while capturing the action shots of the sedan. I was allowed to shoot remotely, even standing at a distance for close-ups with the built-in Wi-Fi feature. Number 4. Nikon D850. Nikon D850 is the first DSLR using a backside illuminated CMOS sensor. It allowed the sensor to produce magnificent images of the motorsport road racing with the sharpest details by its enhanced efficiency to gather light. Hence, capture the fine close-ups of the 6 Mazda MX-5 Miata with extraordinary image quality. D850's tilt-touch LED type with quick shutters enabled me to frame aesthetic action shots paradoxically with high and low angles. The live scenic visuals were zoomed in and out without going out of focus with the new pinned point AF, using which I could focus on my desired point in an easy go. For more information and the most up-to-date price, check the description links. Number 5. Canon EOS 90D. The 32.5 to 34.4 effective range of megapixels of the Canon EOS 90D had offered me to create high-resolution images of the cars on display, including fast autofocus for high-speed performances. The well-developed Digic 8 image processor had featured sharp and virtually detailed images of the articles even at high ISO settings. The 32.5 to 34.4 effective range of megapixels of the Canon EOS 90D had offered me to create high-resolution images of the cars on display, including fast autofocus for high-speed performances. The EOS 90D is featured with a crop factor of 1.6. So, a 50mm lens on the camera offers the same field of view as the 80mm lens on a full-frame camera would provide. Check the links in the description if you want more information and the most up-to-date pricing on the products we mentioned. I will try to keep it updated for the best prices. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and it helped you out, please give the video a like and hit the subscribe button. I hope to see you guys in the following video. Till next time I will see you later.